Hi, we're Heavy Metal Beer Club. And today we are doing another Halloween special. Three delicious pumpkin beers. Sounds good to me. Ah, you break out the pumpkin beers and you can count me in. We're gonna be doing the Southern Tier Brewing Company Cold Brew Coffee Pumpkin Nitro Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Ooh. And we're going to do Four Peaks Double Pumpkin Porter, which we have not tried yet this year. Ooh. You always see the pumpkin porter, but you never see the double pumpkin porter. So we're gonna have that one right now. Oh. I can't wait to try this. And then lastly, we'll do Howling Gourds Pumpkin oh. Ale. And we got this from Trader Joe's. It's the only place I saw it. We've tried it before and we really like it, so we're gonna taste it next to these other ones and see which we like best. The Howling Gourds Pumpkin Ale. And what, uh, what's, where's that out of? No. I don't know, it's not <laughs> from anywhere. Joseph's Brew Brewing Company out of San Jose, California. And that's a 7% alcohol by volume. No wonder I like Howling Gourds. Tonight we're filming this on Halloween Eve. So the evening before Halloween. So we are so Ooh, excited tomorrow's Halloween. Kind of sad. Nice right there. That it's gonna be gone. Oh look at that. Let me, yeah, that is a nice orange color on that. Check that out. Yeah, that looks like a pumpkin ale. It's uh nice and clear. Give it a smell. You oh, you can smell the spices. Smell that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is for that sure. That smells like a true spicy pumpkin ale. Yeah, it smells like pumpkin pie. Yeah. Oh, and you know what we didn't mention? We wanted to thank Hop Street Lounge for these great, cool new yeah. tasting glasses. Thank you, Hop Street Lounge. Yeah, this was going to be the name of their tap room here in Tucson, Arizona. It was uh, Siduri's, but they ended up going with Hop Street Lounge. And so they had these glasses sitting around, and we really liked them. Yeah, we love, we love Damien. We love that place. They have such a great beer list and a comfy place. Cool music, cool beer tenders. Oh, here we need to cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. What you That's, that? I think it's very pumpkin forward. Mm -hmm. You taste the hints of cinnamon and nutmeg, so it's not real strong. It's more of a milder pumpkin beer, but definitely a, a pumpkin beer. It's a lot more of the pumpkin flavor is what yeah. I'm getting out of it. Yeah, it's got really good pumpkin flavor. Um, the clove, the pumpkin spice. On the tasting meter, which is a scale of one through five, what would you say? I'd give this Howling Gourds 4.7. I'll give a little room, because I really like it. I'll give them a solid four on that. Yeah. You poured me a good amount. Howling Gourds. <laughs> 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 Next, we're going to go with the Four Peaks Double Pumpkin Porter. And that is uh, out of, uh, well, they're here in Arizona. Is that Scottsdale that they're out of? Or is that actually Phoenix? Well, we know it's the Phoenix area. Yeah, we've been there. It's a nice brewery. It's supposed to be haunted, too. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. the artwork on it. That is very nice. It really is supposed to be haunted. It's a cool place. You see wh where you sit, they have great food, too, and they've got a great beer selection. And then you see all the brew tanks. It's very, it's huge. It's real nice. Ooh, and that's an 8.5% alcohol by volume. Here, I could have been talking uh, while I was pouring stuff. I'll taste, hey, out, of, I'll taste out of yours because I can't drink that much that fast. I don't want to waste it. Ooh, color. Look at that. that looks like a porter. That's a very dark right there. That's a very dark brown. So now this one gets to sit on the throne. It's uh, light on the, the pumpkin scent. Oh, I smell it. I smell the spice and the pumpkin. What do you think about this? That has sort of a, a medium to light mouthfeel on that. I like the flavor of it a lot. It's not as strong of a pumpkin flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm even, I'm getting slight pumpkin. I'm getting slight cola. Yeah, cola for sure. You're right. It doesn't and like. Sm it's got the little smoky toasty of a porter. Yeah, a little smoky and toasty, but not burnt. Mm -mm. Did I even say it was slightly sweet? Mm -hmm. And on the taste meter, which is a scale of one through five, what would you give this? Four peaks I enjoy that you make your pumpkin beers. I would give this a 4.5. .4. And see, I would go with, uh, I would say 3.8. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it's very enjoyable. It's not real strong with the pumpkin flavor, but it is really good. It's very good. It's delicious. I love it. You definitely know you're having a seasonal beer with that. There have been very few pumpkin beers I have not liked. There are a couple I didn't care for so much for various reasons, some being that they aren't any spice in it at all. You can't taste any yeah, spice. That's They're not very spicy. And then that's disappointing because you, you think you ordered a pumpkin beer and 
it sounds so good and then you taste no nothing of pumpkin or any spice. But other than that, there's an another type I don't care for too. And that could be this <laughs> one because, now this one's called Cold Brew Coffee Pumpkin Nitro by Southern Tier. Southern Tier beers are killer. And we that was them. that other pumpkin that we really liked a yes. lot. But this one is their Nitro Cold Brew. And sometimes if it's too much coffee, it can take over. So well, let's see. And that is an 8.6% alcohol by volume. Southern Tier Brewing Company is out of Lakewood, New York. Lakewood, California. That's so where let's we're try from. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was my backyard, it was Lakewood, California. Check out my armband if you guys didn't see it. This is from the Mad Monster Convention in Phoenix. I love it. And oh, this you know shirt what? from my girl. I should give and this. And my boys. You gotta give that the, get the nitro pour going on that. You gotta give that the once pour. That's sort of a, a light brown multi color to it, is what that is. It looks like malted milk malt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't want that much board, right? No, that's good. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. Usually you're like, pour them up. Well, and then she I slams them. We do beer tasting, people, and she slams them. We do wine tasting, and she slams them. I do not. That is not true. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, give that a. I smell coffee just right away. Good morning. You know what? I get a slight sweetness. But to me, it tastes like a good cold brew coffee. Not so much pumpkin forward or other spices, but it does taste like a good coffee cold brew. Yeah, it's a really good coffee one. Not the coffee tastes like freshly ground coffee beans, like really good yeah. ones. I mean, it, that is an excellent taste, but not very pumpkin spicy. No, no. See, so on a scale of one through five, as far as a pumpkin beer goes, as far as a pumpkin beer? I would go like 2.5. I'd say the same. But. As a coffee, I'd give this like a five. I mean, Yeah, as a coffee beer, I would give this a five. I know our good friend Sport's gonna wanna try this because she loves coffee stouts. Ah. This is fantastic. So clean tasting. Tastes like black coffee. Yeah, it's smooth. I like it. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, well because of the nitro. Not a right. pumpkin beer, but a good pump. A good. Uh, but a coffee good coffee beer. beer mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching the Heavy Metal Beer Club. People like Kimo be upset if we don't do stay. So we stay metal. Stay metal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. Let's make some pizza. <laughs>